Um, before Big Brother, I definitely was an un unemployed individual. I used to work in the corporate world, but I just recently resigned. It wasn't working out. And I just, I felt like I just needed to find myself and figure out what I wanted to do. I actually resigned not, I wasn't, I didn't resign to look for it. I just resigned so I can take time out to process things. So it was a, to make it sound safer, not to um, make it sound as gory as it is. It just, it wasn't working out and it was bad for me personally. And it was affecting me in ways that was that wasn't good. So I just thought I needed to take a break. Why Big Brother? Um, I don't know. I, the Big Brother just felt like something that almost not almost. Most of my friends just always thought Big Brother was something that I could go for, or that I would be an interesting housemate. I always wanted to be Big Brother for obvious reasons. But um, at the point when the audition came out, I I'd say I was. Um, I'd hit rock bottom, so it was basically like, I mean, why not just give it a shot and I applied and I went, I came and I conquered. Um, and I would use the, my, the Big Brother house as a case study, I'd use the Big Brother house as a case study. Um, it is very easy for people to misinterpret or not you yeah, misinterpret things they don't understand. And um, a lot of people tend to be selfish. Not everybody would want to go the extra mile trying to understand. Most people would just stay or stick with their perception of things and then just stay there and form opinions on it. Um, I'd come from a place where I dealt with people who really did not understand me and they formed opinions about me. So rather than try to force relationships that wouldn't be genuine or aren't genuine, I just thought to take a step back and just be on my own and navigate this thing called life on my own. Um, I think those who wanted to get me got me. I mean, you can't understand something from being far away. I mean, you can't read a book if you don't open it. Oh, really? Okay, well, um, so, weird enough, I actually really like Nigeria. I'm actually very passionate about the country. Um, for the longest time, I've known that I always wanted to do good and I always wanted to help people um, in whatever way that I can. Um, no matter the capacity. Um, I do not believe that we all need to be getting to public office before we can effect change in the country. But to a larger extent, being in public office will help. Um, I think at the very moment, um, the youth have a larger voice, a larger say in the country. It's just that the youth don't seem to be interested or they're tired. Um, but they need a reason to be motivated. They need a reason to gear up. And it's just, it's just for everyone to come and say, look, this thing can actually still work. The results that we're looking for, we may not get it right now, but we will get it eventually, but we need to start now. We can't just take a back seat and let things keep going out the way these things are going. Eventually, we, that we're the younger generation, we will get older at some point. And if we don't fix the country now, we would grow up to meet a country that is still in much of a mess. So if by virtue of me being me and by the things that I have to offer, by the good that I want to do, or by the people that I think I can inspire, thanks to Big Brother, I think it is possible for me to do good. Um, I do believe that being um, in office in whatever capacity might serve as an influence or a stepping stone for us to actually look for a way to effect good governance and, you know, just the right mindset to making people love the country more. It is possible. It is very possible because um, housemates in particular, nobody really knows what's going on in your business. so. And it's a small house, there's really nothing to do, everybody can speculate. Um, in most cases with said people, um, communication might have been a bit ambiguous or actions might have led to certain signals being misread. So yeah, it is possible that there could have been a mismatch somewhere along the line. Um, are you still open to getting to know Daniela? Yeah, we are getting to know each other. Politics. No, I am going to delve into um, lifestyle and tourism. Yes. I mean, I have a fashion brand that was particularly focused on reorientating African culture using fashion. Uh, yeah, I think the Nigerian culture is starting to get fizzled out because of neocolonization and foreign involvement. So by using fashion as a way to reorientate people to say, okay, you know what, this is who we used to be, this is our culture, this is our heritage, these and these are our traditions, just a way to spread that. So yeah, I'd like to delve into that on a larger scale, see how much of our 
African heritage and culture we can still salvage before we grow old and nothing relating to Africa exists anymore. <laughs>